big, beautiful, loving planet called Earth. I have a lot, I have three things I want to talk about. Now, one of them I've talked about way too much. I've probably beat it down into the ground. But a couple hours after this vlog goes, uh, goes live, I will be in, uh, at the Lego convention, uh, Lego festival, or whatever they, Brick Festival Live, or whatever they call it. And I will be walking around looking at all the vendors, looking at all the Lego sets they have, you know, figuring out if I really want to get something today at this Lego festival thing. The second, the second and third thing are basically the same thing. Now, there are two college football games that I'm looking forward to watching today or paying attention to as much as I possibly can. And one of those is is Ohio State versus Western Kentucky. That game, uh, both teams are 2-0. And I can't remember exactly what time it starts. I'd have to go and look, I'd have to go and look and maybe later on I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys an update on that. And the other game I'm looking forward to is the Sac State versus Stanford game. Now, I never went to Sac State. I never went to Stanford. I never went to Ohio State. But... Excuse me, here's the thing. If I were to go to any school in the world, two of those three I would want to go to because I have family that live in Ohio. I'm not, not in Columbus exactly where Ohio State is, but I've, I, I would have wanted to go to university there or I would have wanted to go to Palo Alto and go to Stanford University. Now, there are other schools that I could have, I would have, gone to that were kind of cool that I would have wanted to go to, like San Diego State or, you know, or maybe even, uh, I don't know if there's a school in Orlando. There might be, but definitely those those three. And Sac State might have been a possibility uh, that I could have gone to school at, but or call it a university or college or whatever you want to call it. But Ohio State and Sac Ohio State versus Western Kentucky and Stanford and Sac State could be two games that have either a high scoring game or a low scoring game or a middle scoring game. I can't really decipher that just yet, but I will say this, that those, those, those games are the ones that I'm looking forward to the most today. And every Saturday I look forward to when Ohio State plays or when Sac State plays or even though I didn't go to Sac State, um, yeah, so, and then next weekend, let's just talk a little, let's talk all about sports in today's vlog. I'm not going to mention one team, but I still follow them and watch them and pay close attention to them. The other team is my alma mater, which is Folsom High. Um, but you guys already know that because I talk about that all the time. They are three and one right now, and they're playing uh, De La Salle, who's one and two at home, I believe. I have to go in. Uh, that's not until next, ne until Friday, the twenty second. But like I said, with every weekend, I try my best to watch or follow along with Ohio State, Sac State. You know, those are the two schools that. Um, I, uh, colleges or universities that I like to watch or pay attention closely to because those are the two, uh, oh, well, Stanford, I kind of watch and pay attention to them a little bit, but, uh, those, Stanford's a good school and it's an art, it's a, it's got a good football, sometimes it's got a good football team. The other seasons, it doesn't have a great team, but still, you know, just to give you kind of an update on if I were to have graduated from uh, the community college I went to, I would have um, I would have gone either to Ohio State or gone to Stanford. Those were the two top options. San Diego State was a very close third, but it, those were the top two that I would would have liked to have gone to. But I didn't. And I dropped out and. It's okay to drop out. I'm not saying everyone should drop out of college or university, but if it, if you don't believe it's the right thing for you, you should do what you feel is best option for you. 
Now, that doesn't mean that you can't go back to college or university later on in life. I'm just saying, you know, that was the right choice for me at the time. And I just thought I'd, you know, tell you a little bit about sports. I'm really looking forward to, I think, this weekend, or not this weekend, but sometime in the next week or two is when we start uh, the preseason for the NBA. So next month we, we start the NBA season, and who knows how the Golden State Warriors are going to do. They might do extremely well with getting Chris Paul in the offseason, you know, signing Draymond Green to a to a contract and also, you know, getting rid of Jordan Poole might have been a good thing for them. Sir, signing Dar- Dario Sarek or or Skakik or something along those lines. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but maybe this year we'll have a, you know, Clay will be doing well and maybe he'll get a big extension. You know, Steph, it could have a great season. I don't really know. We'll just have to wait and see what happens in the preseason and then once the season starts at the end of next month. So we had a couple of birthdays to wish today, so let's just dive into that. I want to wish Haley G. Hoover a happy birthday, uh, Aaron Lee Sivers a happy birthday, a happy 35th birthday to Caleb Nation, happy birthday to Anthony Padilla, and happy birthday to Laura Don Vakic. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. I could have butchered. Uh, let me just spell her last name. It's uh, it's D U N D O V I C uh, is her is her name. And that does it for birthdays today. My true love story exists out there uh, with a famous person. Whether she's a model, she's an actress, she's a YouTuber. She's a singer, songwriter, slash musician, whoever that is. She's out there somewhere, whether it's 10 miles away from me or 10,000 miles away from me. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand new vlog, and bye-bye.